Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at words we use in English to describe clothes. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's lesson is looking at words or vocabulary that we use when we describe clothes. So if you need to describe somebody or if you want to buy clothes and you want to express yourself to the person who is selling the clothes to you, some of these words will come in very handy. Now, the first words we're going to look at are the ones at the top and they are materials or the fabrics that we use to make clothes. So, for example, we have cotton, we have denim, we have cashmere, we have linen, we have lycra, we have suede, we have silk, we have wool, we have leather, we have corduroy, we have velvet. Now, all of these things can be used for both uh, men's and women's clothing, okay? Cotton, of course, is a very light fabric. Linen, another very light fabric, normally used for summer clothing. Denim, of course, common with jeans. Suede, lycra, uh, popular for uh, sport sporting clothes like uh, lycra bicycle shorts. People that ride bicycles often wear lycra. Wool, obviously from uh, sheep, a winter type of material. Silk, leather, corduroy, velvet. Now, these words here are used to describe the patterns that our clothes may have. And we can see here that I've done a little picture or a little drawing of the pattern. So the first one is checked. You would have a checked shirt. And a checked shirt is with checks. Flowery with flowers, striped with stripes, spotted with spots, and plain with nothing. So we have a checked shirt, a flowery dress, a striped shirt, a spotted dress maybe, and a plain shirt with no pattern, just white or black or red, completely plain, no pattern. And these words here describe the way the clothing fits on our body. For example, baggy. You can have a baggy t-shirt or baggy jeans, meaning that there's a lot of room, okay, that perhaps it's a little bit bigger than it should be, baggy jeans. Loose. Again, not tight, so a loose fitting shirt. Tight, meaning that it is very pressed against your body, very tight fit, okay? A tight fit. And close fitting, similar to tight, meaning that there is not much room between the fabric and your skin. And these words here we can use to describe different types of shirts. For example, long sleeved, the sleeves are long. Short sleeved, the sleeves are short, like on a t shirt or a short sleeved shirt. A v neck, v neck, round neck, like this one. And a polo neck. Polo neck are the shirts or skivvies or some other type of jumper maybe that come up to here and you can roll them down. Okay, that is called a polo neck. So we have a long sleeve shirt, short sleeve shirt, v neck 
t-shirt, round neck, or polo neck jumper, perhaps. Thank you very much for watching the lesson. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the section below. Remember to share the video on social media, your Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Pinterest. Share it up on social media. I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a good day. Bye.